Good morning, bitch ass nigga. It's your boy Larry Jones, and it's how I roll up. Sock it to me, you're doing good. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah! <laughs> I have no clue what this weed is. We got this from Little Mosey <laughs> at the concert. Okay. But it's some good fire organic, sand slight, very peaceful, off the dribble type weed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's uh, what's some of your favorite strains of weed? Man, I fuck with the uh, the cookies. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the little dream. You know what I'm saying? I'm not picky with weed. Okay. If it's weed, I smoke whatever. If it's your friend, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's a blue dream. I can't smoke that. <laughs> Nigga, roll up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, man. But it's all love. I fuck with all kind of weed. I, I really want to get back to the natural weed that niggas was smoking in the 60s and the 70s. Shit that was growing outside? Yeah, I fuck with that kind of weed. That shit was not real groovy. Nice. Yeah, now you know what I'm saying? It'd be a lot of chemicals. Cause I, I was fucking with a little smoking a fat ass backwood one time in LA. And I started feeling like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga about to pass away or some shit. Like, a slight chemical was in my nigga, so now that wasn't straight weed. Like, yeah. I purchased the weed, wanted to get weed high, and I know crack cocaine high, having yeah. nigga hands. Yeah, you feel me? Like, come on, I want weed, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I kind of want to take it to the basics and get some of that weed they were smoking when niggas was wearing the bell bottoms and afros and shit. We was needed weed real bad, so we went to the projects in Puerto Rico. You're on the San Juan? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was crazy. We came through the hood, went through the shit. They had niggas on the roof, niggas on the walkie-talkies to the through the, uh, on the little motorbikes and shit. And they said, come through this alley. So we came through an alley, nigga, like, literally like six niggas rushed me with like different kind of weed. But he told me, you, if you, uh, whatever weed you grab, you got a cop. But I grabbed two. So I'm like, nigga, let me see what you got, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you, you touch the weed, you got a cop. You know what I'm saying? And that weed was smooth. I feel like when you smoking weed about the environment you in, you, you at the beach, you relaxing with a big mojito, you know what I'm saying, something slight with you. You smoke you some, you know what I'm saying, some cool little, okay. you feeling real peaceful and shit. I, ain't, I don't care about getting too hot, you know what yeah. I'm saying. As long as I'm, I'm smoking weed in Puerto Rico, I know that yeah. feeling, bro. Like it ain't the best weed, but you see a beautiful oh, ocean nice. and shit. I'm going to smoke this and drink out this nice organic coconut real quick. Sun just like yes. a little soft empanada or sun, real, yes. real peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Um. So you backwoods smoker? Yeah, I fuck with backwoods. Okay. I fuck with the Did backwoods. Did you start on backwoods or nah. you transitioned into it? Yeah, we, I was smoking switches when they had the clear wraps. Oh, shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Back yeah. in the day, we was smoking switches in the bay. Like, niggas had to, and we was, I used to buy the big, the big box. You know what I'm saying? The big 50 box. You know what, oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Sun slight off the dribble. Good job, Swisher. When you smoking um, with the tobacco in a backwood, it gets you less higher than when you smoking with the papers. I feel like the, they said the um, tobacco kind of levels it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So you got your head high, but then when you smoke in the paper, it's just, you instantly just yeah. turn that. You know what I'm saying? Man, edibles. Edibles is a polarizing topic. People either love them or they got that one experience. Man, I had really too fun. many experiences. Yeah. I had, well, I had one, I had one good experience. My nigga Chief Green, he used to make hella cookies, like hella um, weed cookies, and they was fire. Like niggas, you know, niggas hungry, ain't had too much money in my pocket at the time. So we knocking off the weed cookies. Like, fuck it, this shit low key smacking. My nigga, what's up? Let me get some of those, you know what I'm saying? So I'm knocking them off, whoop, eating the cookies, and I'm smooth. But I know my, I, I did notice my day was kind of like dull when I ate them. Yeah. So I ain't tripping, that was smooth. I, I, it wasn't nothing crazy. And I went to the Bay Area, I got to the Bay Area, because this is in Atlanta. I was visiting my mom, because she lived in Atlanta. And I, moved, I got back to the Bay Area, so I'm thinking I'm a professional edible eater, like, you know what I'm saying? So I got me the Rice Krispie tree. And niggas like, be cool with the Rice Krispie. I'm like, nigga, I got this. And it's me, you know what I'm saying? I do this for a living, my nigga, turn that. You know what I'm saying? So I socked the whole motherfucker to the neck, you know what I'm saying? But I was trying to take it smooth, but the shit was smacking. The shit tastes good. Like the Rice Krispie tree, not a little colorful one. Yeah. Fruity Pebble joint, look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit did numbers, you know what I'm saying? 
Before you know it, I was sitting on the couch crying, man. <laughs> I couldn't breathe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I started feeling paranoid and shit, man. And then, and then I seen a midget run past me in a tuxedo and jump in a cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I was high as fuck. Nigga, I thought I seen a, a midget with a tuxedo come through. How about the dude? You know, you, you know, you running, you do like the little slide, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and get back up, nigga. I was trapped on God. And I, then my, uh, I was at my dad's house because I didn't really, I didn't have a house at the time. So I was just at my dad's house kicking on my pops. And he came in the crib, like, you know, you gotta get your life together type of shit. Like, and he, <laughs> he walked in, he just like, he, he just, I'm high as fuck. I could tell he knew that I was high. I was gonna play a smooth, like, went to take me a walk around the neighborhood. And he dipped, took a nice cold shower. You know what I'm saying? And that was a weird ass little trip. And I told myself, I ain't never doing an edible. I don't think I never did one since that time. But that shit had me feeling like, I did a piece of slightly low key organic crack online too. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Shit. Good job, Edible. But I don't, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas love them, some people hate them. But I, I ain't really into it feeling like that and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get high. I don't know. I might roll a mini one, whatever that thing can give me. This can give me a, a soft medium joint. I can woo doop doop doop, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's all about the backwood. You can't get too dependent on the scissors. Yeah, you can't get too dependent. Come on, my nigga. You need to roll on the clutch and you can't do it. Come on, man. In the 60s, niggas weren't pulling out scissors. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep it all the way G. So when you're rolling up, we got any tips for anybody? Uh, you niggas to keep in mind? I just, I just, when I roll it down, I just look at it and make sure it ain't no stems and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice little dupe. You know what I'm saying? This actually is a, a great wood. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I look at it and I figure out the angles. You know what I'm saying? How I'm a wood. Knock off a few pieces, keep it very professional, you know what I'm saying? Put a little organic saliva on that thing. Uh huh. Do you remember the first time you ever smoked weed? Off the dribble. How was it? How old, how old were you? First off, how old were you? I played basketball and I ran cross country for a minute. So I, I just wasn't into like smoking weed. I just, Are I didn't drink. Two at the same time? I didn't drink or nothing. So I, was, I think I was like 17. And when I first smoked, I probably did the little fake puff with the niggas, like, like when I really just held my nigga in. I was like 17, and it was raining outside. I was with my um, I used to hang out with my homies. I was actually in Vallejo, fucking with my homies Nemo and shit. And um, they was like some, uh, they was Mexican, you know. What I'm saying? So they just sit back playing all the old school bass, slap smoking weed, and I never hit it. We in the scrape, woo woo. Hot box and they was like, all right, your so first time is raining, so we gonna smoke a blood in the rain for the first your first time. I think it'd be tight with the little, you know, you stand in the front of the house, they got the little thing over you though. So like, we sit outside, smoke like <sighs> instantly. As soon as I hit the weed, I got smarter. Cause I wasn't really like instant. I was more aware of things, you know. what I'm saying I wanted to read things. I saw I looked at the world differently, and I feel like it it changed my life, bro. Like not, you know what I'm saying. And I just started smoking weed every day. And then I went to this secret session, secret smoking session with these hippies. I ended up meeting these hippie girls in Napa. And we used to, uh, they used to swoop me. I didn't have a whip. This is like younger, you know what I'm saying? And um, they used to swoop me and play this crazy ass techno music. And we just this hot box driving hell like for like 30 minutes just going through crazy ass Shit smoking, like me and my, he pick up me and like two of my homeboys. She had like a few of her homegirls. She had this truck. We just slide through the whole shit. And then the second, then, man, shit right there. on some crazy shit. And then we, we, we go to this house and we, it's like, like a little, like something like this big, but she go upstairs and you gotta sit Indian style with the little black lights and shit. You just get high as fuck, something to slight. So I, you know what I'm saying? Cause I went to school, I went to school out there for a minute before I got kicked out of school over there. When I got kicked out of school in the city, in Frisco, I had to go to Vallejo and shit. Dang, what's your uh, go-to munchie? What are you grabbing out the fridge, out the pantry? Man, if I got an orange, I grab an organic orange. But I fuck with the grapes. I fuck with grapes, I feel like grapes are very uh, convenient. You can just knock them off, put them in the, let the water hit it. But you know it, you know what I'm saying? Grab you a little bag of grapes instead of some candy or some shit, and you'll be doing good. You know what I'm saying? I eat those all the time. What about drinks? Um, I fuck with the water. Good, you know what I'm saying? Good pH level or blue Gatorade. 
I fuck with the blue Gatorades. I, I stay away from the sodas and shit. And um, man, or a bust down green juice or a smoothie or some shit. I try to keep it very peaceful as possible when I'm smoking the weed now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nigga trying to, you know what I'm saying? A nigga trying to live long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't fuck with no syrup, none of that shit. I don't fuck with none of that. I might have me a big mojito or something. But. What about when you're smoking and what are some, like, uh, pet peeves from people that you can't stand? When niggas start talking about dumb shit. Or just, like, you know how some niggas get high and tell me about these fake uh, gangster stories. How, oh, yeah, I read up in this house, hit the lick, pulled up on niggas, shot them in the ankle type. Shut your ass like, like, you, you blowing my high, my nigga. Like, I don't want to hear about that shit. Or, or nigga just keep rapping. I, the homeboy that just in your crew just say he can rap hella much. So as soon as he get high, hey, listen to this, this bar. Ooh, like, nigga, shut your ass up right now. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you. I fuck with you as a person. And you got a little <laughs> bit of bars and shit. But I'm peaceful right now, my nigga. I don't feel like hearing your bars and shit unless you got some real extremely good shit to talk about. I just want to get high. Play some beats, you know what I'm saying? I'll be kicking it, man. Good job, Larry. Numbers.